People living on New Brunswick's Campobello Island have a challenge when it comes to getting their mail. The island sits at the tip of New Brunswick near the U.S. border. It is only accessible year-round by bridge from Maine. And now that cannabis, which is legal here and not in the U.S., is being delivered by mail over that bridge, the U.S., well, may have a problem with that. Joining us now is Campobello Mayor Brett uh, Newman. Good to have you with us, Mr. Newman. Good morning, Ian. Happy to be here. Describe for the rest of Canada what is so frustrating about this situation for your residents. Well, I think given our location, it's just very difficult for us to transport Canadian goods and uh, be provided Canadian services here because where we are located, we're required to travel through the United States uh, roughly nine months out of the year with only having uh, mainland access to Canada three months of the year. So what does this mean, this, this searching of packages? What does this mean for your residents? What, what happens to their mail? Well, residents uh, first found their mail being opened at a higher volume uh, late last summer, and it continued. Um, it hasn't just been cannabis. It's, uh, I understand it began with cannabis, but then uh, it became a more broader search, including packages being delivered to our library, our pharmacy, uh, personal correspondence, uh, everything seemed to be uh, on the list of uh, option to open. So it kind of feels a bit like they're maybe going through all the mail. Not only are they having their mail searched by the U.S. government, Canada Post, a crown corporation, has now formally asked cannabis producers to just stop shipping to your island. Uh, in a letter, they give the reasons for this uh, this way. U.S. Customs and Border Protection has the right to stop and search any vehicle at their discretion and detain or seize any item which they deem inadmissible. But let's say for residents who need medical marijuana, for example, what options do they have? Uh, it's pretty limited. They have pretty limited options. I think having their marijuana provided through mail service was very convenient for them. And this just adds uh, an, an added stress to uh, probably an already challenging life. So a Conservative MP for your area even brought this concern to the floor of the House of Commons. What has been the reaction from the government and, and what do you see as a solution? Well, besides um, Canada Post letter, there has been a, a lot of action. John Williamson, um, our representative, has brought this uh, issue to the floor at Parliament, which has been great. It's been great to hear our name and great to hear the subject brought up. Uh, I think the long, the long answer for it is truly Campobello just needs that same access and uh, same transportation rights as the rest of Canada and shouldn't have to go through particular borders just to uh, receive things like our mail. Uh, food and groceries are delivered through the United States. So uh, you can start with mail, but anything, as you said, and everything is subject to search when it enters their country. So uh, it could be very well a snowball effect if uh, an answer isn't reached uh, sooner than later. If the, if the packages are being searched and marijuana being found is being seized, how are residents getting cannabis now? I don't really know. Um, you where, don't know or you don't want to say? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm really not too sure. I know it's legal to grow it too, so I, I assume uh, people must have uh, designated growers or uh, I would hope another option. I hope the mail order wasn't their only choice or else they're, they're, they're in a, a bit of a tight, tight spot. So I hope they have a second option. And if not, I hope the, uh, the Canadian federal government will come up with a, a much better answer than this. It's a really interesting story. Thanks for coming on your morning to talk about it with us. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. All right. That was Mayor Newman from Campobello Island. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.